here we go. Roman Delige versus Nazaruddina Mayball. Full fight reaction here at UFC Vegas 85. Both guys getting introduced right now. This thing's about to pop off. It's time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. Roman, you got a little fear on your face. I don't like that. Come on, man. I need this, man. Don't do it to Mavov. Don't do it to me. He's the favorite, too. Two to one. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good, ladies and gentlemen. So, Mavov's in. He's ready to go. Roman's going to get introduced, and this thing's going to be on and popping. Let's go, Roman. Come on. 12 and 2. No joke. Fighting out of Georgia. 6'2, 186. Underdog. 3 and 1 is the dog. Okay. I can respect it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, my dude. Let's go, my dude. Yes, sir. We need it, Roman. We need it. Y'all get in the chat room. Let me know what you think. It's about to go down. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. And the stare down. To, yeah, Mayfall's not going to be easy, man. Oh, gosh. I'm worried about the uh, pick now. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Come on. You got it, Roman. You got it, baby. Come on, you got it. He's number eight. I may evolve number 11. Main event, this is it. And this could end at any second. And already a may evolve. Eam evolve, I should say. Lands a left jab, straight leg kick. And he's moving well. <clears throat> And Roman's going to try to set up the big shot. But Imavov is good at defense. I mean, and he lands a, a leg kick to the body already. And Roman is already flinching on any movement from Imavov. And Imavov is doing a lot of movement. So that ought to tell you here in the first minute. Roman a little jumpy, tries to go in for the takedown. He can't get it. Now they'll tie up and Roman will walk them back. Five rounds potentially. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Because neither guy ready for that. And we've had some good fights, right? We had to finish quickly from Randy Brown. Then we had a long decision between Moicano and Dover. Went Moicano's way, went our way. And now we're in the final fight of the night, main event. And we need Roman to win. But Imavov is no joke. Come on, Roman, let's go. Man, quit talking to the ref and fight. Dang. Let's go. And they're still just tied up on, along the fence. I mean, Roman's in a better position right here. But not much action. <clears throat> not much action right now. Roman's complaining about something. I don't know. But he just needs to fight and get the finish. That's the bottom line. Ooh. And they're free. And a big right by Roman and a leg kick. Okay. Okay. And I'll tell you what, Imavov sees it coming pretty well because he's always ducking away from the punch. It's like he can telegraph it. It's too slow.
now we're almost in a feeling out period like you would expect in the first minute as things are slowing down just a bit. And a nice right by Imovov, another nice right. And Roman had to get it out of there quick. Oh, God. Come on, Roman. You could do it, Roman. Come on, Roman. Oh, big right by Imovov. Oh, shoot. Come on, you got to move, man. Keep your head off the line. Oh, shoot. Oh, Delice goes down. Imovol's pounding away. Here we go. Here we go. And Roman can't do anything. The ref is really close right here. It's early, though. Roman's got to do something to stop that right hand. It's just continuing. And, boy, he's got to do something. And he's trying. But Imovol got that right arm free. And Roman's got to roll, stand up, do something. And he puts himself in a bad spot now, giving up the back. But he's got to do anything he can to get out of this round. Come on, Roman, get out of the round. 40 seconds left. Dang it. Oh, he's got the back. Oh, goodness. Keep your chin down. Oh, my goodness. Keep your chin down. Stop that right hand. When Imovov's landed a lot here in the last minute. Ten seconds left. There's a tap. Just hold on. Oh, no. Arm bar. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and there's the round. Whew. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And that's the first round. Roman looks like he's gone ten. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> yeah, man. He took a lot of strikes. <clears throat> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I can tell you this fight's not going five rounds. That's for sure. And it all started with that big right. And then Roman took the knee. Then a left. He goes down. And boy, he's lucky to hold on. He is lucky that Imovov didn't finish it. Oh, man. Yeah, and Roman's tough, but I don't know, man. You could be as tough as you want, taking punches like that. Forget it. Man. Go, Roman, get your bearing straight. Keep your head off the line. Gosh, he's just so flat-footed, it's easy. Oh, big left by Imovov. This thing isn't far away. Imovov catches him one time. This is It's, it's going to be a wrap. Dang it. Yep, you might as well throw the right, Roman. I hear you. Yep, you might as well go for it. And Imovov sees it now. He knows that Roman is completely gassed. And Roman's tough, but I just can't see this thing going through this whole round right here. I mean, he's in, he's fading. And Imovov's actually in no rush. He's just waiting for that one opportunity. Ah. Uh. Come on, Roman, dig deep, man. Let's go, dig deep. Now Roman ties him up once again. All right, I mean, just need time to breathe here. Just need time to breathe. Well, Roman, do something. Before you get separated, do something. 
Got to maintain this position. And I'm surprised, really, that Roman made it through two minutes. I mean, I'm, this is his best shot is just to try to control Imovov against the fence to try to get his bearing straight. Because he didn't look good at the beginning of the round at all. And he's not doing good uh, in the stand-up. So he's got no choice but to work this way. I hear you, Roman. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on. And Imovol smiling at the corner like he knows what he's doing. Now he flips position. He's got Delite up against the fence. Two minutes left in a round. Here we go. And Imovol is going to open up now. Yep. Job, Roman. Keep throwing bombs. Keep throwing punches. Come on, keep throwing, keep throwing. <sighs> I guess I shouldn't be too upset at Roman. I mean, he could have easily been done right now. I mean, he's kind of doing what he has to do to straighten things out. 120 left, round two. And all of a sudden, this this fight's you know dragging deep into round two. Round three is on around the corner. Be very surprised if the co-main and main go to the distance. I, I just I thought Moicano Dober would be, lead to a finish, and then I definitely think this fight will lead to a finish. It hasn't yet. It was close. And sometimes when you're like. Like Roman, and you you know, you get beat up a little bit in the first round, and then you kind of get through round two. You actually get your, you know, they call it a second win, but it's for real. Slow down Imovolve a little bit. He's just holding on. That's all he's doing the whole round is just holding on. And he's building up control time. Don't know how the, the judges will see this, if it goes that far, but yeah. Now Herb Dean's going to break him up, but there's only 20 seconds left. <clears throat> and Roman throws a right again. And a left. Okay. Boy, Roman just throwing now. Oh, a big right by Imovov. Five seconds left. And this is not where Roman wants to be, but lucky the round's coming to an end. Man. All right. Round three is coming. All right, Roman, not a bad round. Easier said than done, but it's it surprised me to Imovolve let Roman just lean on him the whole round when he had him on the ropes. Now Imovolve looking a little slower. He's looking, breathing a little hard, uh, harder over in the corner. And they got to do a lot of work on Roman right now. It's what they're doing. Kind of telling him to keep doing what you're doing right now. And Imovolve's corner's in a little more of a panic because you would have... You know, if you had to bet, you thought you would think that he would get to finish around two, but he didn't. So here we go. Here we go, Roman. Let the comeback begin, baby. Now you just need a big round three. Here we go, boys. And Herb, you just stay out the way, man. Just stay out of the way. Let Roman hold all day if he needs to. Ten seconds gone here, round three, and it's just Roman does not want to be in the stand-up. Now Roman smiles after he gets jabbed. So. And I'll tell you, Roman's not connecting, but he's just like throwing big right hands. Just to let Imovolve know he can, you know, he can still land him. He's still got some power. Trying to keep him back. And now Roman's going to pin pin Imovolve up against the fence again. And, you know, we can continue to see this 
<clears throat> and I think it just favors Roman at this point. Because anything he can do to avoid the stand-up is, is, is working. And if you were in an arena, this is a pay-per-view event. People will be booing right now. People will be going crazy. This is not what people want to see. But you also have to understand, the guy's trying to do anything he can to stay in the fight and try to win it. And standing up with Emovolve isn't working. And here we go again. They're free. Over a minute gone in round three. Both guys beginning to tire. Man. Come on, Roman. Just one time, baby. Just one time. Show them why you're top ten. Let's go. Such a crucial fight, too. I mean, you're trying to maintain your top ten spot. Emovolve's trying to get into the top ten. You know, he's right there. This is like the perfect fight for him, really. Because I don't know if you want to fight anyone else in the top ten. Roman's got him pinned up against the fence. Here we go. Roman trying to run the clock a little bit. Can't blame him. Now they separate back to the center. Oh, boy. Big right by Emovolve. And that's why if you're Roman, don't let go, man. Just hold on for dear life. Gosh. Now it's Emovolve who ties up, and this is going to be good for him as Roman spins him around. He's got his back up against the fence, and I can't believe I'm saying this. I cannot believe it. After round one, when Roman was almost done, he's found a way to stay in the fight and run this clock a little bit. Yeah, Roman's corner wants him to shoot for a takedown, but I say, listen, this is working right now. This is working. And you got to slow down Emovolve. And if you go for the takedown and you miss it, you might be back into the center of the octagon standing up again. That's not where you want. So I disagree with the Roman's corner right now. I say stay exactly where you're at. Let everybody moan and groan that there's no action. They can moan and groan after the fight. But if it leads to a victory, then it is what it is. Stay out of there, Herb. Stay out of there, Herb. Stay all right. Big left by Roman. Now they're back standing up. 130 left. A lot of time here. Round three. And you're going to start seeing Emoval push now. Yep. Big right. Oh, come on, Roman. Hold on, Roman. No, don't do that. Hold on. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Emolvolve just, I mean, absolutely. Oh, my gosh. 66 to 7 in the first round. Wow. 23 to 9 in this round, but it's Roman who's just holding on. So, whew. So despite the control time, Amevol may win this round still. It worked in round two for Roman, but here it's working, but he's just taking too many significant strikes in the stand-up. That is, is, even though he's controlling, he, it's going to lead to him trailing a lot in, in strikes, and that's not good. Oh, here comes Roman with the big right and left as uh, Herb Dean separates him. And I told Herb Dean to stay at it or he keeps stepping in. You know? You're messing up my man's strategy. <laughs> That's not to get KO'd. Like, leave him alone. Spinning back kick by Roman. Nice. And a Mavol will let the clock run and that's it. All right, round four. Oh, boy. I still think something's going to happen, but... These middleweights get tired. <clears throat> get tired. These guys aren't used to going five rounds.
And yeah, there's a lot of tie-ups. There's a lot of ride time. But still a decent fight. Still a decent fight. Come on, Roman. I still believe in you. And even if I didn't, I ain't got no choice. I need you to pull this thing out. Because <clears throat> if you don't, there's going to be a lot of pressure on us next week. A lot of pressure. Both guys look tired in the corner. Round four awaits. Both guys are up and pacing. <clears throat> and it may involve just dominating in the stand-up. Roman holding on for dear life at times. And it's worked. And you can say what you want until you're in there, right? <laughs> and in the stand-up, Roman just throws like big shots even when he misses. Just trying to keep a Mavov off guard, but it's not working. A Mavov still landed until the point where Roman's got to come in, and there he does. Okay. All right. I like this strategy, Roman, but you got to land... You got to land some strikes in the clinch, right? You got to win the round, baby. You win this round, you got a shot in the fifth. I still believe in you. And even if I didn't, I ain't got no choice. <laughs> got to stick with the prediction until it comes, you know, until you lose. Now, Mavov, 16 to 1 favorite, but I'm not so sure he won round two, ladies and gentlemen. Be careful. This round is crucial. The problem is, though, is that a Mavov clearly won round one and three. Could he get two judges to give him round two? I say no. So if Roman can win these last two, he gets a 49-48 unanimous or maybe even a split decision. But he's got to prove to those two judges to give him round two. That's what we're hoping. That he clearly wins round four and five. Like, oh, oh no! A Mavov kicked Elite. When his hand was down. Oh boy! Now we got a timeout. Three thirty-two. Oh, and now Mavov trying to fight the corner of Roman, and Herb Dean grabs him and says, "I will disqualify you." And there might be a language barrier here. So, so what's happening is Roman's corner is is not happy uh, about the kick to a downed opponent. And let's see, the replay is going to be crucial here. Okay, now, I mean, we're seeing the replay of a Mavov going over to the corner and Herb Dean saying, I will disqualify you. And Herb Dean kind of grabs him and is walking him back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's clearly down. Clearly down. Now we're getting a corner reaction. They're all pumped up. Now you got one of the coaches kind of hit the fence. Before, and then they calmed down right away. They did calm down right away. But one of the coaches hit the fence. And wow. Drama's building now. Here we go, baby. And it's really up to Roman. Because he, he could get a DQ victory here, I think. Or he could, you know, the other side is to to gut this thing out and try to fight through it and you might lose. But Roman is a tough guy, so. And that's crazy because we've seen, we've seen this several times in the last few years, maybe f uh, three to five times. Where a guy gets hit with a a, disqualif a disqualifying type shot. Here we go. We're seeing a replay. Boom. Clearly got kicked with his hand down. And then he pounds the, the octagon. Did he lose a point? Did he lose a point? I missed that. I think he... Uh, that could be crucial. 
he was deducted a point. Okay, so now it's likely one to one. So we got an even fight on our hands. It really doesn't change for Roman though. It doesn't really do anything for Roman in terms of instead of losing, he could potentially get a draw, but he's still got to win these two rounds in order to win the fight. And look at him going for a knee bar. I don't think it's going to work though. A lot of time left too. 250 left in round four. Now you got the corners upset, coaches upset. And it looked like there's there's darn near 10 coaches in the corner. So I don't know how. That's what it appears. Maybe there's six, but what I'm getting at, it was when this fight ends, are we going to have any problems? Now, Roman's still just controlling a Mavov against the fence. And wouldn't you do more and more of this now that he's lost a point? So, man, we could we could sneak out a victory on this one. I'll tell you what. People are going to be upset, but there you go. It's all right. It's all right, Roman. Keep holding. Keep holding. 145 left, round four. And it's too bad this wasn't in an arena and it's in, in the Apex Center because the fans would have been going crazy during that whole sequence. It would have added to it. Imovov had to be rushed back by Herb Dean. Which I guess we got to say he let Herb Dean rush him back because I think he would, you know, I don't know if that would be much of a fight. Now it's a Mavov got in the back ugh, of Roman. And this could be a rough minute for Roman. Come on, Roman. Uh, you can't take many strikes here. You got to tie back up. Yep. And they're swinging. And Evolve lands one. And a leg kick lands a right. And you can see they're stinging rights and lefts when they come in. Now Evolve stands left-handed. It gives him a different look. And he switches back to right. And Roman doesn't even move. Probably because he's tired. 35 seconds left, round four. And I'm still still amazed. Because after round one, Roman was basically finished. And then he figures out a way to maybe win round two. He gave up a few strikes in round three. Probably lost that one. Then a Mavov loses a point in round four. So, at worst... Roman's got to win round five not to lose his fight. He may get a draw. He may get a win. But he's got to win round five. That's got to be the message in the corner. Like, no matter how you figure out the points in your head. Even if he got this round. If you lose the next, it's a draw. You could lose the next and lose the fight. So, he's got to win this round to win the fight. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him he's got to win round five. Come on, coach. Please. They're telling him he could KO a Mavov. Why would you tell him that? Why would you tell him that? Just tell him he needs to win the round, even if he has to hold for three minutes. Please. And even while uh, a Mavov's still strong. But beginning to tire. I don't know if those punches. I mean, I know they're not as strong as they were in round one. But he's clearly getting tired. Both guys are. They're not used to five rounds. But I'm starting to believe more and more in Roman Delige. What a tough dude, man. What a tough dude.
Round five's underway. And the name of the game in this round is to survive at all costs. Come on, Roman, get up. Oh, and the Mayfall's not going to let him up. And Roman's fine with staying on his back. And he's just going to keep a Mavov off of him. But it, yep, and Herb Dean stops it immediately. And a Mavov doesn't like it. Gives Herb Dean a weird look. But the bottom line is Herb doesn't want another kick to a down opponent. So, you know. See, and Roman's done this round by round. Like he's going to sit there and strike a little bit in the first minute, but he's going to find a way to get into the body. And he's, if he listens to his coaches and tries to get a KO, he's going to get KO'd. So here we go. He's walking him back. This is what you got to do. And this is not what the coaches are telling him. Roman's doing this on his own. And, you know, he's only 14 fights into his MMA career, but he's had enough fights to know how to survive and how to win. And even DC saying he needs to get space, try to end the fight. I don't know what anyone's talking about. I'm not seeing the same thing. What I'm seeing is, is the Lise has a chance when he's in the clinch because the clock's running. He's not getting finished. A Mavov lost a point. Roman probably won round two. So there's there's a lot up for grabs in this round. And Roman cannot afford to lose this round. So bottom line, he cannot afford to lose this round. He has to win it. Even if it's by a little bit. Ooh. And Roman doing something with the ankle here. He's got an ankle lock. Oh, and he can't hold it. Ah, uh, he lost it, but he's going back in. Oh, nice elbow there by Mavov. And I think that caused a problem for Roman. 240 left, and a lot of energy buzzing right now among the coaches. Everyone's screaming. You can hear it in the Apex Center, right, because it's quieter. And both sides want to see a finish, but Roman's tired. I just don't think he can afford to stand and strike with him. I know I've said that a hundred times in this fight, but I think you you run this clock out. You try to land some shots in the control position here, 215 left. And Herb Dean trying to tell him, you got you to gotta go. You got to go. And hopefully you pull out a close decision. And how's this going to work? If... If a Mavov wins this 49-46, then he still wins 48-46 on the point deduction, right? But if he's 48-47 on two judges' scorecards and Roman gets two rounds and he loses the point, we have a, a majority draw. So that's kind of what's happening right now is a Mavov was – you could clearly see him calculate in his head when he lost the point. You can't win 3-2. to two. You have to win 4-1. to one on two judges' scorecards, and I'm not so sure that that's what's happened. I'm not so sure. So it's going to be a tense decision, and it might take a second with the point deduction for Bruce Buffer to make sure he's got it all under control <laughs> and no mistakes are made. Oh! Big elbow and knee by a Mavov. And see, that's not good. They're standing up now, a minute left. This is not good for Roman. And Roman looks at the clock under a minute. I think he feels good about that. And he's going to walk now, Zaradine, a Mavov back to the fence, lands a knee, slips, and he's back up. Final 45. And I cannot believe that the co main and now maybe the main are going to go to a decision. I just cannot believe it. Now, Mavov just holding down Roman. He's looking for a submission, but not a lot of time here to work with. And Roman keeps that hand down and takes a punch. And that's what led to the kick earlier. 15 seconds left. And Roman laying on his back, and this is not a good look. This is not a good look. And back to their feet. Five seconds left. 
Y'all got to throw. And a Mavov might have snuck this round. And a Mavov might have snuck this round. He's either going to win the fight or it's going to be a draw. <clears throat> and neither one's good for me, but a draw would at least keep us undefeated in the main event. And I don't think we had a draw all of last year because Anka Live and who is it? Anka Live and uh, was it Jan Blahovic that went to a draw that one time for the title? I can't remember, but I don't think that was last year. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to wait just a few more minutes, see what happens here, but I'm hoping for a miracle, man. That was a long one to sit through. A long fight of control time, riding time. And it's hard to say because I think a Mavov won the fight, but the point deduction makes it a lot more interesting. Because I don't know that he won the fight 49-46 on two judges. That's what he needs to win it. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm gonna guess majority draw. We'll see. Can't see a split draw. I don't know. If, I don't know, man. Roman would still have to win three rounds to win the fight. And I don't see that either. So best case scenario for Roman is a majority decision. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to say 47, 47, and 48, 46. And it may all being held back. He's giving the finger to the coaches. <laughs> this guy's crazy, man. And I think they're, they're showing the strike again. Boom. When he had his hand down, yeah. Seeing some replays. And a, a Mavov just dominated in control. I don't think Delite did anything when he held a, a Mavov. Because the whole point was is just to get his bearings back and try to stay in the fight. So in terms of aggressiveness, and really that first round, 66-7, to seven, in significant strikes, that was ridiculous. And sometimes that's enough for the judges to give you another close round or two. So maybe he did pull this thing out. I don't know. I really don't know. And it's definitely taken a while. Here we go. Uh, it could be a bad night if we don't win this one. It's going to be a bad night, man. Uh, come on. 49-46. Forty-eight, forty-six. So he won it. A Mavov won. Forty-nine, forty-four was a little ridiculous. Then the next judge was forty-seven, forty-seven, and then a forty-eight, forty-six. So one judge was off the rails, five to nothing. But Nazaruddin and Mavov gets to win as he probably should. The point deduction made it interesting, but he got. I guess it would be a majority decision for Nazaruddin and Mavov here. He's going to move to 13-4. and four. He's not happy with the corner of Roma Delice, but that is what it is. This fight's a wrap. Middleweight division, UFC Vegas, 85.